Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Rose, and today we're going to be doing a review of this HP Pavilion gaming desktop. Now, there are some people out there who don't like building a gaming PC, and this might be an option for you. But before we dive into this review, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, an online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. And if you're interested, use the link down below and buy the Windows 10 Pro activation using our code TB20 to get 20% off. All you have to do to activate Windows 10 license is buy the key by using code TB20 and then throw the Windows 10 key into your Windows 10 activation on the system you wish to install it in and boom, you have activated Windows 10 and you no longer have to look at that horrible watermark in the bottom right corner. So thanks again to GVG Mall for sponsoring this video. Let's get right into the video, shall we? So this specific model is the TG010160 XT. It's a long name, but we actually made some slight changes to it. This is normally $699 is the starting price. It would come with a 9400, a 1650, eight gigs of RAM and a one terabyte hard drive, but we decided to make some slight modifications to that. Two things to get out of the way before we get into this review. Yes, this is more expensive than building your own computer. We know that. And two, there might be 10th gen versions coming very soon. So the price may vary with this desktop and you might be able to get it cheaper than the $900 price point. So it might be a good option to check the links down below if you are interested in checking this out and picking it up from HP. Now let's go ahead and talk about the specs, shall we? So as you guys can see, this is not really much different looking on the outside from any other HP case that we've uh, ever reviewed. So we've gotten a couple from Best Buy, never a gaming one though. So what kind of sets the gaming ones apart and you can tell is they always have this, I think they call it acid green uh, logos on here, which kind of look a little bit cool. Um, also, we have this kind of cool design on the front. And one big thing I noticed is we've never had airflow in the front like that. So basically all they really did is use the exact same box used for the other ones when they slap a different um, front plate on it, which looks better, you know, and it probably helps with airflow. For the front though, uh, we do have some USBs, which I totally just missed, but we have, looks like four USB 3s, which is, that's pretty awesome. We have a headphone combo jack, and then we have a USB type C, which is pretty cool to have. And we also have a full-size SD card reader for doing a media creation. In the back, we have our standard audio ports up top to be actually have splitters and whatnot. They actually covered up the original display outs just because we have a graphics card in here, which you're probably wondering, what did we upgrade to? We'll get to that in a second, but we still have, it looks like four more USBs back here, which these appear to just be USB 2, which is interesting. And then ethernet, and that's basically it besides the uh, power plug. And then this graphics card that we did get is nice because it has three different display outs. We have display port, DVI, HDMI, so all of our main displays, but this graphics card that we actually decided to opt for is the 1660 Super 6 gig, which is a really good card, and this is not a, actually Philips. All right, so opening it up really easy, just one screw. Um, HP might not want you to do this, but we're gonna do it anyways. Oh, nice. So, all right, we're in here. Look at that cute little 1660 Super. That is, that is just so darling. All right, so diving into the inside, we have a pretty good looking system. It's actually pretty good looking airflow. Um, there's not a crap ton of cables and not many obstructions. So we have the 1660 Super here, which is actually an HP model. Should be a six gig card though, just like any other. It actually does use external power. So you do have the option if you ever wanted to uh, swap out this card for something else. We have two four gig sticks of Micron uh, RAM that's actually uh, you know dual channel, which is nice. We really wanted dual channel in this. Um, right back here, if Mac is able to see that, we have a 128 gig NVMe SSD, which is also really nice to have. And right back there, a hidden Toshiba one terabyte 7200 RPM drive, all with the 9400 powering the system. So yeah, pretty good looking system. And it's also a 310 watt power supply that's actually 80 plus certified and everything. There is an option for literally 10 more dollars to get a 400 watt power supply. They only really recommend you need to do that if you go with the 2060, which you actually can opt for a 2060, but it's a really uh, big price difference from going from the 1650 all the way to the 2060. So we decided to meet in the middle and go with the 1660 because we found that as a really good pair for the i5-9400. All right, so now that we've gone over the computer itself, I'm gonna hand it over to Matt and he's gonna go ahead and talk about what type of peripherals and instructions this bad boy comes with. So uh, the peripherals are not too amazing. You get the uh, basic keyboard and mouse here. Uh, we'll go ahead and unbox that real quick. Just the bro? typical HP special, not mechanical unfortunately, oh. but it is a keyboard, it's better than nothing. Uh, we'll do a, a quick little test if I can get it out of the sleeve here. Ooh. Those are, quiet. those are browns, right? Yeah, brown switches. Uh, but yeah, no, this HP keyboard is just basic. It'll get the job done and get you up and running. And the mouse is probably just as basic. Oh, that made a really weird noise. Here it is. Cute little mouse from HP. 
Looks nice, right? Yeah, great. Uh, it'll work well to get you up and running, as I mentioned, but if you guys wanna see some videos on the channel, we have like top five keyboard and mice videos. Hit the eye on the top right corner. You can get some really awesome peripherals for like under 20 bucks for this setup. Consider that, because you know you probably spend most of your money on your computer anyways. But um, yeah, that's what this thing comes with. The computer, keyboard and mouse, and pretty much we're gonna go ahead and test this thing, see what it has in store in terms of performance, and then kind of talk about the value compared to, well, going the other route, maybe building it yourself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have this PC all up and ready to go, we're going to test it in a couple of games, shall we? And the first game we decided to test was Call of Duty Modern Warfare on high settings, and we got into an infection game lobby, which is actually a pretty fun game mode in Modern Warfare, and we got well over 60 plus FPS on high settings, that is, which is very impressive. We already knew that the 1660 Super was a great card on its own. We've done a ton of PC builds with it and highly recommend it if you are looking to build a budget PC, but the pairing with the i5-9400 makes this a very compelling pre-built option for those who don't want to go through the fuss of building a PC, getting somebody to build a PC for them, or have to deal with even higher markups from other pre-built companies. So this could be a decent option for you. The next game we decided to test was Fortnite. And of course on pro settings, we were getting well over 144 FPS, which is ideal for high refresh rate. This could be a good plug and play system for somebody who wants a pre-built option that can play high refresh rate Fortnite at well over 144 FPS. So do keep that in mind. It was very easy to run around and get some kills with this setup. Now, of course, we are PC building enthusiasts here at the Toasty Bros, but we do understand that there is a market for pre-built systems like this. Otherwise, they wouldn't be making computers like this in the first place. So for those people out there who are looking for just a simple plug and play solution and are okay with paying a slight premium for it, this HP Pavilion is not that bad of an option. Next up is Overwatch, which at, well, 1080p high settings, we got well over 100 plus FPS. Once again, this system is going to have no issues whatsoever playing the latest esports titles at 1080p high refresh rate. Highly suggest you consider this as an option if you are playing games like Overwatch, Fortnite, Valorant, Rocket League, or any other game out there, maybe even CSGO if you still play that game. You have a lot of options here with this system, and again, for the price, it's not too shabby. And you can also expand into AAA titles, which is why we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider up next at high settings settings with the built-in benchmark getting over 60 FPS, which is exactly what you should expect for a system at this price and this level of performance. Now, as we wrap up this benchmark, I have to leave you with a couple of notes. Yes, we do know if you build a PC, you will save money and probably get similar results, or you can build a PC for the same price that performs better. That is obviously the case, but there is a market for people out there who absolutely just don't want to build PCs, and maybe at that point, this might be a good option for you. As reviewers, we decided to check out this computer to see exactly what it can do and what it can deliver for the money, and there's no major compromises here that make us feel like this is a bad system and that you should stay away from it. So how about we go ahead and bring Jackson back in here real quick to wrap this video up. So the test results were clear. This is pretty good for gaming, which it should be for the price that you're spending. And also it has these really cool green uh, lighting that we noticed when we plugged it in. So that's actually a pretty cool bonus feature. So if you're somebody out there who wants to get a pre-built system and doesn't want to go out to some of the other offerings that are out there on the market that may use used hardware, um, well, this right here might be a decent option for you. And I'd be willing to bet this could drop in price on HP's website at some point in the future as they roll out 10th gen versions of this in the near future. So be sure to keep this bookmarked if you're considering a system like this and uh, maybe pull the trigger if it does dip below like $800 or right at 800 bucks, that'd be a really good price for a system like this. And let's not forget, usually Best Buy Walmart, Office Depot, Office Max, Staples, they usually carry these HP systems. We've actually done, like I said, three or four videos where we bought these HP ones, cheaper ones, obviously, but we have seen this front green panel guy before, so they do sell variants of it. So if you want to get it same day even, go check out one of the stores and see if they have it. So overall, very impressed with the performance of this system. If you do want to purchase this system, link in the description down below to HP Store. If you do purchase it using that link, it is an affiliate link. It does help us out. So I appreciate you guys for doing that. But yeah, really happy with what this thing is capable of doing. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also check out us on twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros, Toasty DIY YouTube, and Toasty Clips YouTube. We'd really appreciate it if you drop a sub and a follow there. And we'll see you guys in the next one. I just stole Matt's line again. Wow. You say it, say it. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye. God, I'm quitting. I'm done. <laughs> Cashing out.